Hello everyone, I'm Jensen. Today is Friday, May 28th, and I have all the stories you need to know to get in the loop tonight. And it's Memorial Day weekend, and with so many COVID-19 restrictions either loosened or gone, so many people are ready to travel again. But how many people will actually be out on the road? AAA expects a 60% jump in travel compared to last year, with 37 million Americans traveling at least 50 miles from home, most of them in cars, even with gasoline prices at their highest levels in seven years. Right now, the national average is above $3 a gallon for regular. And looking toward the sky, more than 1.8 million people already made their way through U.S. airports Thursday, and the number is likely to pass that 2 million mark over the long holiday weekend, which would be the highest since early March 2020. And overall, it seems like most travelers are pretty excited and maybe a little bit nervous. Now to be able to go with really hardly any restrictions and be able to take my mom out is a blessing. There are times where I am a little weary just because of the amount of people that are traveling. And one airline is already experiencing a bit of turbulence. Check out this wild video. Oh, 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 oh. It shows the moment a passenger and a flight attendant got into a fight on a recent Southwest Airlines flight. Passengers say it started as an argument about the mask mandate on board. Southwest says Viviana Kianez repeatedly ignored in-flight instructions to wear a mask. The whole thing escalated so badly that the flight attendant apparently lost two teeth and Kianez faces a felony battery charge. Plus, she's now no longer allowed to fly with that airline. Airline officials say they usually get around 100 reports of unruly behavior on flights each year, but this year there have been 2,500 reports, mostly involving mask complaints. If you'd rather avoid the drama and just have a chill holiday, the good news is there are some killer movies coming out this weekend. One of the big ones, A Quiet Place 2, is out today. I love the first one so much. Now, this time, the family has to face the terrors of the outside world to continue fighting for their survival in silence. Director Jim Halpert, I mean, John Krasinski, who obviously also has a leading role, has been popping up at theaters across the country, pushing to get people back in those seats. And we'll see soon if his efforts work. A Quiet Place 2 is out now, only in theaters. But that's not all. This doesn't have to be a scene. It really, really does. Can I to remind you all that I'm doing this in heels? What was your name? Cruella. Have you ever wondered how did Cruella de Vil become so evil and what's the deal with her in Dalmatians? We'll get some answers in the origin story Cruella, which is also out today. It stars Emma Stone as the infamous villain, which honestly I'm pretty pumped about. It's showing, of course, in theaters or you can watch it on Disney Plus for an additional fee. And okay, who doesn't love free samples? Costco is bringing back its famous free samples next month. The company stopped handing them out 14 months ago at the start of the pandemic, but now they're ready to bring them back with a few changes. Workers will prepare samples in smaller batches behind plexiglass and distribute them one at a time. Costco is also bringing back some indoor seating with more distancing, but some locations will even add outdoor food courts. Fancy. And it's National Hamburger Day. Perfect way to kick off the long weekend, right? And if you don't feel like grilling out on your own this Memorial Day weekend, then why not support local? You all have been shouting out your favorite Toledo area shops today with some really great burger options. And it's so hard to choose. I've had so many awesome burgers here in the 419. So if you don't grill out, give one of these places a try. And if you have a favorite spot, shout that out in the comments. Now, a lot of controversy actually surrounds the origin of the hamburger, but it most likely first appeared sometime in the 19th or early 20th centuries. And of course, over the years, the hamburger has become a food staple here in the US. And before I go, of course, a big story here in Northwest Ohio today has been the weather. We saw heavy rain, winds, and a lot of flooding. A lakeshore flood warning is set to continue through the night until 10 a.m. Saturday. As of this afternoon, Lake Erie water levels at Toledo rose three feet. Wow. For an overview of the day and a look ahead of what cancellations could impact your Memorial Day weekend, check out the link I have in the description of this video. But that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, hit that like button and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Jensen and now you're in the loop.